day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so everything that is, is God. And, and all man does is, is cultivate, so is cultivate what it is, and then use it to get from others. Yeah, it twisted. It, it definitely, I think there's someone said that's where that wicked, wicked comes from, from that word wicked, twisted. It, it twists, yeah. it distorts the, the, uh, the initial intent of a thing, you know? Could even we talk about the dark age, right? Could I, it, it kind of refers back to that over and over again, is we remember when the Jews were, or the Christians were burnt, burnt and eaten in the arena. That was, that was not to, that was, that was the pagans doing that when Christianity was starting to grow. So they were doing it just to, to um, to mock and and if Paul was sitting and saying y'all not going our way, but they because they had so many different types of religion, it wasn't like they were trying to get a particular religion. But then the dark age came when the Christianity started to grow, become more dominant uh, in in the world. The dark age came where they started burning people. Remember, I mean they they literally burnt people alive, right? And you ask yourself, where, where is that in the gospel? Where, where is that in the gospel? How did this Inquisition, how did this Inquisition, and I'm using that because that's one of the famous ones, or even, even Hitler's thing, where did, because he called it said the Third Reich, they really were talking about saying they were Christians, right? That's, that's what the Germans were trying to proclaim himself to be, right? That's bringing in the third coming of Christ or something. I don't know what they call it, but the third right. But where did it come that Christians were to do these bad things to people? And I'm talking about some burning people alive. Where did that come from? We, we, we got a problem that they can't be Christians, obviously. Is that they're not, there's nothing Christ-like about that. So we, we, we have to be careful about what we... I'm going about what they call themselves. I, I mean, I'm with you on that. That's a problem, right? <laughs> we got people who will cloak themselves, form of godliness, just a title, but they act in a bad behavior that, that even happens even today, where people say they are Christians, but they'll do bad things. Why, why, and that's what people look at too, right? It's an oxymoron, it, what I call it. It, it really, really gets deep when you try and get to the root cause yeah. of everything. And it all boils down to, to one being, and, and and that is the world. And so knowing that it is so imperative that we continue to renew our mind and build that relationship with God. Yeah. <laughs> I think and, I think I, yes sir. And as long as you do that, then you know you, you, Well I think and that's true, that what you're saying is what, and look, it's, it's a question of renewing your mind to what, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it, right? Because obviously there's people that's representing, representing Christ and doing bad things, teaching children to hate. And one of the things I've been doing, with, even when at TikTok was talking to tell you, and even here, is the fact is we need to remind people to bear the fruits of the Spirit. We need to remind people that even by the crisis that a tree is known by its fruits, right? We, we, we need to remind people 
that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and the grace of God. Because even that when we did the one with the woman caught in an act of adultery, we saw the difference between the grace and mercy of God through Jesus Christ doing that woman caught in an act of adultery, <clears throat> opposed to the people that call themselves God's people. Getting ready to stone one of their people, you know, one of God's people, right? Because that woman was a Jewish person. <laughs> and, and they had stones in their hands. And they were going to stone that woman. And they felt they were doing the right thing. And now what we have is, is as you and I and, and others equipping the saints, is to always push back to what are the great commandments, right? What are the two great commandments? To love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, all thy strength. And to love thy neighbor as thyself. And to be able to say there, I think part of your ministry is to be able to tell people, A, a tree is done by fruits. That's a good one, right? Mm -hmm. Saying is that I understand what you saw or seen, but the whole point is this, that ain't Christ. That's not the gospel. And I, 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 we, we gotta let people know, this is not how God operates. And that's why we use the story today with the prodigal son is to show people, hey, whether you in the body at first and leave the body, or whether you outside the body, you want to come into the body, this is how the body operates. You know what I mean? Amen. So I agree with you, renewing the mind. So let's renew people of what the gospel is all about. You know, that, that's the intent. That's the intent. So that, I, I agree with you. So, so let's renew our minds. We're going to use this one today. I like it. And I, I did you do this one in carols? Did you ever do the prodigal son? Uh, I don't. You, to be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> 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 okay, well, look, let, let's go. Well, Paul said, let's use this opportunity. To, to bring out some points uh, that we got out of, okay? So can you see the title? Yeah. Okay, so the parable of the prodigal son, is this the root of not loving one another? And what I'm saying, what I meant for that really, and I, I changed that title, That's not, the title is the prodigal son. I put that, that thing in the, on the bottom of it. Is it the root? And, 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 you know, just to get everybody ahead of what I'm going. And, you know, Brother Asim, most people don't read the Bible. So they probably don't even know the prodigal son anyway. <laughs> so, but what we want to get to is that I'm, I'm interested in keying on that older son. Right? It is, I'm interested in that. So let's go. Let's check this out. Let's see if I can get it going. And we give you sir the 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 anointing oracle of god don't don't give me no glory <laughs> no, no, i just tell you be an oracle go ahead and speak his word sir <laughs> okay Luke 15 is starting with 11. and he said a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Now, this, this is something that we always look over. Mm -hmm. We look over this particular sentence where it says, and he divided unto them yes, sir. his living. So that means that the son that was home had his <laughs> and the son that left yeah had his. It is. nobody you know and, and i can't say nobody but to be very honest this is the first time i've noticed that <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> yes. amen amen this is the first time i've noticed 
that in reading this as much as I have, that he divided his 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 goods, yeah, his goods equally to 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 both of them. I mean, if it's divided, that means they yeah. both have equal share. So, or <laughs> however, it says thirteen. And not many days after the youngest son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. Yes, sir. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. Yes, sir. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in love. Exactly. Now, one one of the things that uh that was brought out really good and even in the Carol study, Carol study, but it just even in study here. Why do you think we gave the title of this parable the prodigal son? Well, I think this was put on there to, to see that the point to that, you know. Maybe it's okay to waste <laughs> to waste the point of your life because, <laughs> because God is always waiting on you. <laughs> so you, know, you want to focus on on the person who 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 goes astray from God's will. <laughs> that could be that, that, that could be that could be true, but I I hope it's not uh, <laughs> because. I I don't I don't put these titles on these different portions of these letters. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, what what the, it's interesting because let's look at the if you look at the first verse, it's really how Christ gave the title of yeah. the of the parable. A certain man. He, he said what? A certain man had two sons. Yeah. So he he this this is if he had to be the uh, had to give a title. He would he would he made it something like that. Not on the net. See what I'm saying is the the actual word prodigal son uh, makes you focus on that son, right? Yeah. The one that had to ride his living. Yeah. And, and, it, go ahead. I wanted to say it could have just been a certain thought. Yeah. Because that's the key. Of, of, of the parable of the father. Yeah. And, and, and that could have been the title of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what it's all about. It is really all about that father. In my, he is a central focus point in that story. Yeah. That's the goal. Though he's very seldom mentioned. Yes. The, the portion of him that is, 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 is more powerful than anything else. Anything else? Yeah, because they're trying to show. You know, I, I'm just, I want to have. That would be a good one. Invite one day, Bishop, come back and say, "How would he do this? What's the central theme of the text for this one?" Right? Because because reality is that that father represents God, the Father, and what how He looks at us. Because you know what, He has given us all things. Yeah. From the beginning, he said, "Let us make you know Genesis what twenty eight. Let us make man in our image, yeah. and let him have dominion over this world." Yeah. Think about it, right? <laughs> and 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 then because of that, just change the whole perspective of the story. And that's what we want to make sure to teach people and renew in our mind is this story is about a certain man who really represents God and his two sons. It really represents the children of the book and the Christianity or the Gentiles have been grafted in. Right? Okay. <laughs> now, the other piece, like you said, was, and that goes back to what I was saying is, this this is a a story where he divided everything to both groups. 
and people, right? But then one group went and took his portion and he left. You know, you in the Psalms 91, he dwells in the secret place of the Most High. This, this guy left the dwelling of where the blessings were. You know what I mean? He, he, he moved, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm getting a little deep, but you have what I'm saying. He moved away from the principles that gave the father, the natural father, the blessing that he had. You know? And he he allowed, he moved to a, a he moved and wasted these things on what you call uh partying. Right? He 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 was not doing like a what they call like the ants, right? They 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 uh they work hard. So so that when they when the winter comes they have a they have a harvest to, to sustain them until the, the winter's over with, right? And and the same thing is life. You you have to make a preparation to to survive, right? You if you didn't, you was good at that, right? They had a they had a seasons that you had to work to prepare yourself for the winter. And even you had to what you have done is there's the winter stages of your life. And what did you, you know, what did you accumulate in your youth to prepare for your your your, your senior or your your winter years of life? And you start off early, if you think about it, right? You 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 made some preparations that is sustaining you today.